Hi, I'm Todd Nelson. I'm a naturopath who's been serving Colorado for the past 34 years with many thousands of people. And many of the people I see have gut problems on a daily basis, and they're really frustrated because they're really not breaking through. Maybe, you know, if you're watching this, I'm assuming you have some gut problems. Perhaps you have some gas or bloating or diarrhea or constipation or maybe cramping, but something that is making you uncomfortable, maybe even worse, maybe you have colitis or Crohn's disease. Well, most people, of course, go to their medical doctor and seek a conventional treatment. Um, sometimes those treatments can be very helpful, but a lot of times they're not really reaching the underlying cause and worse, they might not even work. So what I want to share with you is, um, you know, a lot of people are, are frustrated. They hit a wall and they say, okay, I need a natural alternative. What am I going to do? So they go to Google, they go to their friends, they go to the health food store, they go to different books, and they start reading and talking and looking and finding out information with real sincerity, real commitment to try and break through with their gut health. But sometimes, uh, sometimes people do break through, but sometimes people get really frustrated because they're spending a lot of time, a lot of energy, a lot of money on trying to get better, but they're really not getting the change they see. So as a naturopath practicing functional medicine, gut problems are one of my specialties, and I'm always interested in helping people figure out what the heck is the cause of your problem. Now there's many gut problems you can have. You can have gas on a daily basis that may not be really um, debilitating, but it's, it's miserable. Bloating, that can be extremely miserable, sometimes even painful irritable bowel syndrome, constipation, diarrhea, and more seriously, colitis. Now, a lot of times when you're experiencing these things, you may want to think about your nutrition. And some people have really already made big efforts to, to change their diet. They might be saying, gosh, am I reacting to some kind of food? Do I need to take foods out? Do I need to eat more simply? Do I just need to get sugar out of my diet? All those things are great, but they may not be enough and they may not suit you personally. Other things you may have tried is maybe you've gone to the health food store and tried all sorts of supplements or bought them online and ended up sort of frustrated. Um, so there's lots of dietary supplements on the market, but many of them either don't have research or they literally just don't work. Um, but underlying that, it's one thing to try and get through the symptoms. It's another one to uproot the cause. And at the cause might be underlying infections, which we can find through very sophisticated stool testing that is adding to toxicity in the gut, which can make you inflamed or spasming or bloated. And that can increase that toxic load of the gut, which means you might need to detoxify it and you might need to get rid of those infections. This also leads to something called dysbiosis, which is a disordered gut ecology. It's an imbalance of good bacteria and bad bacteria. Maybe you've tried probiotics. Maybe they've worked, maybe they haven't. But how do you know which one to take? That's the really deeper question. Genetics might even play into some of the cause of your suffering with gut problems. And all this can lead to something called leaky gut syndrome. Maybe you've heard of that. That's when the gut gets leaky, meaning you're supposed to absorb food in your gut and you're maybe malabsorbing large molecules that are aggravating your gut even that much more and possibly making your entire health worse. So if you're one of those people that have tried dietary changes, tried dietary supplement changes, tried to modify your lifestyle, try conventional means and you're just hitting a wall and you're really not getting a breakthrough you want, well, what do you need then? What the heck is the answer? Well, the answer is really finding out what do you need for you personally? What is the underlying causes of your problem, number one? And then how do you design or how do I design with you a personalized plan that is doable in your life, 
to start changing around the functionality of your gut so hopefully you don't suffer anymore. We can do very sophisticated functional medicine stool testing, look at underlying imbalances with digestion and infections. We can do breath testing, which looks at fermented bacteria in the stomach and the upper gut that might really be playing into your bloating. That's a condition called SIBO. We could look at food allergy testing with blood testing to find out what the heck foods are you sensitive to. They might be really common foods that you think are really healthy, like flax seeds or coconut or uh, you know chicken. <laughs> and you may be reacting to them on a regular basis. And that may be keeping you suffering with the misery of your gut. So what I would encourage you to do is consider doing a free 15 minute consultation with me to assess your particular problems. I'll listen to your issues very carefully. Then we can plot a course of saying, what do you need to really assess the underlying causes of your gut issues? So go right below this video and put in your name, your phone number, and your email, and my staff will get in contact with you. And we can either talk by phone or by Skype, or you can come in the office and we can meet. And then I can find out your particular condition and begin to shape with you a very personalized plan. You don't have to suffer with gut problems anymore. Thank you. I look forward to talking to you.